Today, we will install sun shading under this terrace roof. Under a patio roof, you are always dry, of course, but during sunny days, you also want to be able to sit comfortably under it. The best solution is to install an automatic sunshade. To see what kind of sunshade you need, you need the length of the sunshade and count how many roof panels you have. After ordering, the blinds will be delivered to your home. You can take care of the installation yourself, of course. By delivery, you will receive several boxes. You get a general box where you will also find the instructions. Go through it beforehand. You will also receive one box with sunshades per track. The sunshade is placed under the veranda between the roof beams. Put them all ready at the track and check upon delivery that you have received enough. First, we will assemble these fixing plates for the guide rails. Make sure you fit them correctly. To fit them, we've been provided with a handy attachment, so we're always in the right place. The distance between the fixing plates is given in the manual and varies depending on the length of your veranda. Then use the attachment piece to pull the fixing plate into place. Mark that distance on your roofing. With the self-tapping screws provided, you do not need to pre-drill before installing them in the roofing. Place the fixing plates correctly. The tabs should face upwards. Now open the cover profiles at the top of the roofing. This is where the electrical power supply for the motors of the veranda should be located. There will be one motor per track. Near the motor itself is a divided cord. The blinds we are going to provide here are controlled by motors and we are going to prepare the cables already. Make sure you bring the right side to the power point. To know if you have grabbed the right side, look at the cable with the plug on it. That has a connection, and it should of course fit the connection of the distributor cables. Don't throw away the cap you just took off now, but put it on the last point of the distributor cables. That way, that is also protected. To bring the feeder cable into the space behind the veranda, you do need to drill a small hole. Don't do that all at once, but in several steps. Start with a small diameter and build up until the connector can fit through. Tuck the cables away nicely with the clips included in the packaging. Then you can install the guide rails. Check that they work properly. If you run the guide rails up or down, the top of the rails should move the mechanism. Get the rails ready in place with the mechanism at the top. In each case, you have one for the left side and one for the right side. You can see that from the marking. We are now going to install the conductors. Make sure the mechanism of the drive is at the top and then you are also immediately on the right side, being left or right. We are now going to snap in the guides. We hang it at the top and we click it in and we do the same for the right side. Once everything is clicked in, slide the guides all the way down. Fix the rails permanently to the veranda. You do this with a screw at the bottom of the veranda. Once you have done that, slide both fabric holders all the way down. At the top, screw on another cloth housing rail, and then attach the mechanism to the roof. Rail. 
Once the guides are tight, you can finish assembling the motor shaft. The motor shaft consists of two parts with a connection piece. Insert it left and right, and before screwing it in, make sure you have a clearance of half an inch. Tighten the connection securely with an Allen key. Do that to the four screws. Now slide the holders on the guides back up a bit because we're going to assemble the fabric itself and for that we put on the gloves provided. This way the fabric will not fail. Then hang the attachments on the mounts. To hang the blinds, start hanging at the top. If you tilt the wheels slightly, they will go in smoothly. Click the wheels one by one into the guide. Push each time until you hear a click. When you're done, slide the fabric up and you can remove the attachments the fabric was hanging on. Then slide the transporter onto the last rail. You attach it firmly to the canvas. Screw down the bracket so that it cannot shift. Then click the plate onto the guide. Mount the motor at the top. It will sit on the left. That clicks into place, also connected immediately. That way you don't forget. When you are done with that, you also mount the fabric tensioner where the fabric will then be attached and make sure it stays under tension. Do this with the slanted side up. At the top, there will be another protective cap. That way from above, the whole system is hidden and protected. Then slide the cloth all the way to the top and fasten it to the cloth tensioner with the clips. Make sure you tighten it properly too. For our own safety, we have always worked without power. Now that the motors and canvases are all installed and it's time to read the motors in, we will obviously connect the power. You can have all the canvases open individually. You can have them open in different groups. How to do this is all explained in the user manual. If the motors are linked with the remote control, you can also put them at the bottom. A housing is provided for this purpose. You can mount this at different lengths depending on the depth of the veranda. Have a look in the manual how to put it together. Mount them so that the motor and the mechanism are completely covered. At the end, mount the clips to secure the housing. Before we can fully open the blinds, it is important that we first set the cloth casing. This will also serve as the end point. Just slide the cloth housing into place and secure it with the two clips on the side. And at that point, you can start using the sunshade. And then it's time to enjoy the sunshade. Not only it will help under the veranda itself, 
but certainly also indoors where the sun is also kept out. Thanks to the additions we made here, we can now enjoy our patio cover all year round, when it gets colder and also when it gets a little warmer. As for me, I look forward to seeing you at the next job.